Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Obi again, and you're watching AL Combo. How y'all doing? Okay, we have a story to come to you today about something that happened in church. I visited a church, and when I came into the church, there was something that I saw that was shocking. I mean, my jaw dropped to the floor. I could not believe what the pastor did to one of the members in the church. Like, <clears throat> people have to realize that because pastors are in a position of power, sometimes they can abuse that position of authority. And we have to keep our eyes and our ears open and realize that just because someone is on the pulpit and calls themselves a pastor does not mean that you should trust them wholeheartedly. You have to keep your eyes open, you have to keep your ears open, and you have to watch. Because in this life and in this world, if you pay attention to news articles, if you pay attention to the media and things that are going on, then you will realize that in this world and in everybody that calls himself a pastor is not a true Christian, is not a true believer, does not live their life according to the word of God. So it is important as fellow believers to please keep your eyes open, be cautious, and realize that just because somebody is a pastor does not mean that they don't struggle in their flesh, does not mean that they're not committing sin, fornication, adultery, doing things that they shouldn't be doing. We've heard of people in the Catholic Church of what they're doing to some of these small children, absolutely disgusting and horrible, horrendous things that they're doing while in the house of the Lord. So it is important, please, people, please pay attention to this because... Growing up when I was younger, I used to put pastors on a pedestal as well. I thought they had no flaws. If nothing else, if everybody messes up, at least the pastor has it together. At least the pastor, because he's, you know, in the church and he's giving messages and he's preaching. I always had this belief that the pastor, you know, had it together, that if they open a church, if they're, if they're a pastor, that they're a true believing Christian, that they follow the word of God, that they do what is right, and that they avoid what is wrong. Only for me to realize that some of these pastors are destroying people's families, are doing horrible things to some of these children. So it's very important that you realize that you have to keep your eyes open, your ears open. Just because they're a pastor, doesn't mean that they're not flesh, does not mean that they don't commit sin, does not mean that they are not tempted to do horrendous and horrible things. So yes, there's a pastor and yes, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. I believe that the pastor does re deserve respect for standing on a podium and preaching, but there are some things that are abominable that happen in church that co fellow congregation members will just sit and watch and are not authoritative or don't speak up and don't say, look, this thing that I saw is wrong. I don't agree with it. And we need to put the pastor in check. Someone needs to sit down and talk to him. Or this congregation needs to go and the church needs to close down. Because what I witnessed in church, when I visited a church that I haven't been to in years, what I, what I witnessed within that church to this day has scarred me for life. I could not believe what the pastor did to a fellow member who was married, someone's wife, with her husband standing right there, what the pastor did to this woman in front of the whole congregation to this day, I will never forget. And for that reason, I don't want any pastor, if he wants to pray for me, he needs to keep his distance. I don't want his hands anywhere on me. Keep your distance and pray for me from a distance because what he did to that woman right there, I felt humiliated and disgraced watching that and had to look around the whole congregation like, did you see what this man just did to this woman? She is married and she is somebody's wife and her husband didn't even say anything. Now, mind you, before I started, before I visited this church, um, I did hear, I heard some things that were going on. I heard, you know, that there were things, fornication, adultery, all kinds of things going on between the pastor and some of the members in the church. I heard that, you know, one, one guy, uh, came in there screaming, yeah, leave my wife for me, leave my wife for me, leave my wife for me. She started screaming and yelling that apparently, um, him, uh, 
his wife and the pastor were having an adulterous relationship and he started coming in there screaming and yelling, leave my wife for me, leave my wife for me. And the pastor's response to this was, it's a demonic spirit. Everybody start praying in tongues and the whole church burst out, start praying in tongues. And I'm like, y'all need to be honest and truthful. There's something going on. And there's, he's not going to just come in there and start yelling, leave my wife alone for me, leave my wife alone for me for no reason. Apparently something was going on in, going on between his wife and the pastor. And the whole congregation just turns a blind eye and just do whatever the pastor says. Oh, the, the pastor can commit no wrong. No, people, you need to keep your eyes, you need to keep your ears open. Some of these people that there really are some fake pastors that open up churches that maybe, maybe once upon a time they believed in God, but stopped believing in God and decided that I'm just going to use my position of authority as a pastor to abuse fellow congregation members. You know, I mean, he has a wife. If you want to, you know, that's the reason why the word of God says to get married and get your own spouse. If he wants, you know, has his fleshly needs as a man, then he needs to go and let and he needs to go and get his fleshly desires met by his wife and not be tearing up other people's homes marriages and children and ruining their lives i think that is absolutely abominable and i think we have to put pastors and people like that in check because i'm tired of hearing people within the congregation people within the churches abusing fellow uh congregation members and i'm tired of pastors that use the pulpit as a bully as a as a means to bully fellow congregation members I think we need to be united and we need to stand up for what is right and protect the innocent within the congregation because I'm tired of noticing things like this. I come in and the pastor sits over him, calls one of the women out in the church, a very gorgeous lady, and her husband was right there. He tells her to lay down, right? which in and of itself was not a problem, but he tells her to lay down. And then when he tells her to lay down, he actually he sits over here and literally like like she's laying down and he puts one foot on each side of her hip like he, he sits over and steps over her and when he steps over her he squats down on her and then takes anointing oil and starts massaging and rubbing everywhere all over her abdomen even down to her you know her private areas just rub it and the whole congregation is just watching. I'm appalled. It was like he was molesting the woman right there in front of the whole congregation and everybody just stared and acted like it was normal. I was absolutely shocked, disgusted. Uh, it was the most abominable thing I've ever seen in my life. And I walked out. And when I walked out, I think about two or three other members walked out and did some weird, like, oh, my God, and walked right back in. I got in my car. I drove off. And I said, I'm never going there ever again. But I was disgusted by what he did. He told the woman to lay down. Her husband is standing right there. Told her to lay down. So then when she laid down, he sits over there and climbs practically on top of her and squats in a very sexual manner and starts massaging all over her abdomen all over her private i was disgusted i just i just looked at them in shock i was like are you serious like is he seriously gonna sit there and do this to this woman i was so disgusted and her husband just sat there and watched that is disgusting. If nothing else, the, at least the other guy started screaming and yelling, like, leave my wife from me. But he watched as this man climbed on top of his wife, squatted while she's laying down, rubbing all over her abdomen and private areas and acting like it was normal. My people, keep your eyes open. Keep your ears open. We have to keep these pastors in check. Now, the good pastors are the true believing Christians that are following the word of God, that are not using their position to abuse people. I hail you and I say thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. But for the bad ones and the fake ones and the ones that don't truly believe in God and don't truly use the word of God, and it hasn't transformed them and turned them into a new creation, and they are using that position to abuse fellow congregation members, I think your day of judgment is coming. 
But my people, we have to keep our eyes open, we have to keep our ears open, and we have to make sure we stand up for what is right. What is right is right. What is wrong is wrong, period. And what I saw that day was wrong. We need to step up, we need to stand up, and we need to speak up for what is right. For if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation, and all things have become new. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.